what's up everybody welcome back it's Brandon with Campbell Fitness in today's video I want to talk about insulin the reason I want to talk about this highly controversial subject is because I think most people don't truly understand it the reason being is if you ask anyone about insulin most people will tell you is that it's something that's bad for you and you don't want to spike it unless of course it's post-workout otherwise what it can do is promote fat gain now the problem with that is that's not a very entirely true statement. So let's talk a little bit about the basics of insulin. However, to do that, what I want to do is take a very broad, simplistic view of the subject. The reason being is, as I've already mentioned, it can get pretty complicated, which leads to a lot of confusion with people. Now for this and any other subject that I speak about that you're interested in, I highly suggest and encourage you to go ahead and research and study this on your own, as that way you get a lot more information than these five minute videos provide. So as far as insulin goes, what is it? It's a hormone that's released by your body in response to high blood sugar. So when you eat foods, in this case specifically carbohydrates, what happens is your body converts them to glucose, which then of course is raising your blood sugar level that you contain. Now your body's response to this high blood sugar is to release insulin. Insulin then takes that glucose and helps you transport it to other parts of your body. Eventually, as your blood sugar level drops, so will the levels of insulin in your body. So it's pretty self-contained. So throughout the given course of a day, your insulin levels are going to go up and down depending on when you eat and when you introduce food into your system. Now, the problem with insulin is that it does a couple other things as well. And the big problem is, is people focus on the bad of what it does. And that is, number one, it inhibits lipolysis, which is the oxidation or burning of fat as well as it promotes lipogenesis, which is the creation of fat. So most people see that and say, oh, insulin is bad for you. It's going to make you fat. It's going to stop you from burning fat. You're going to get fat. Avoid insulin spikes at all costs. Now, what other people fail to realize is that insulin also has very anabolic effects as well, as it does stimulate protein synthesis. Hence the reason why many pro bodybuilders use insulin as a tool to get bigger. Now, one of the big things to take into consideration with insulin is yes, the fact that it will spike several times throughout the day after meals. However, as we've already mentioned, it will dissipate and lower over time to the point of if we take many long hours between meals, you'll see that it will drop very, very low. In fact, when you sleep for six, seven, eight hours without any food, you're experiencing extreme lows in that case. So over the course of 24 hours or a day, most of these levels will either balance out or even put you in the negative where you're still able to burn fat, which comes into play with overall caloric intake. So yes, insulin does play somewhat of a role in fat gain, but you have to take all these things in context, which unfortunately most people fail to do. Another thing that's interesting about insulin is many people attribute high insulin levels with carbohydrate diets. So a lot of people like to avoid carbohydrates because they think they're going to spike their insulin and thus gain fat. Instead, what they do is they jack their protein way up. But there have actually been studies out there that show that high amounts of protein can actually have a very similar effect on insulin as carbohydrates do. So before you're quick to point that finger at insulin, know a little bit more about it. I highly suggest, like I've already mentioned, to research a bit more. And you might find you might enjoy your diet a little bit better. As always, everybody, thanks for watching. Stay big.